Did you know you can cook almost anything in an air fryer? Hint, an air fryer is just a mini convection oven that cooks food faster. Unfortunately, too many people are stuck in the rut of using their air fryer for nothing more than frozen french fries and chicken nuggets. So today I'm helping you unlock the magic of your air fryer with 15 recipes that would make any skeptic want to get an air fryer. My name is Kathy and I empower people to actually use their air fryer. Are you ready? Let's go. Instead of trying to make these fake TikTok pancakes, grab some donut liners. We're gonna make donut pancakes instead. Whip up your favorite pancake batter, grab some silicone liners on Amazon and cut them so they fit in your air fryer basket. Spray the silicone liner and fill the cavities with your batter. Pop it in the air fryer at 320 for eight minutes. Take them out and let them rest for five minutes. Once these have cooled slightly, place your baking tray on top, give them a flip, and release the silicone. Pancake donuts. Mm-mm, who wants pancake donuts? Me. Mm. Five, actually four and a half. I give it four and a half stars. Can somebody please warm it up? <laughs> it's cold now. <laughs> if it was warm, what would you rate it? Okay, that was warm. I'd definitely give that a 5 out of 5, because this right now is a 5 out of 5. <laughs> now this is a pancake. <laughs> Three ingredients for these potatoes that you can enjoy at breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Chop your potatoes. Then we're going to dry out the potatoes using the air fryer. Cook it at 380 for three minutes. Now that the potatoes are dry, we're gonna stir in some oil and some ranch seasoning. Level out the potatoes, and then we're gonna pop this back in the air fryer and run it at 380 for 12 to 15 minutes more. Oh, yes. And it passes the fork test to perfection. Hot, it's really hot. Mm. Hot, hot, hot. A new cat hot. Say what? A new cat hot. How many stars do you give it without ketchup? Five. And a ten with ketchup. Can I have some ketchup, Mom? That is so good. Definitely eleven out of ten. Very yummy. This is the magic trick for proofing bread and rolls and baking them right in your air fryer. To proof any dough, preheat your air fryer at 350 for about three minutes. Then use this kind of parchment paper. I have it linked at airfryertools.com. Place it in the air fryer, set your dough inside, then pop it in the air fryer, and don't turn it on, just let it rest right in here. 15 minutes later. Oh yes, mama. Get two tablespoons of melted butter and add a half teaspoon of minced garlic. Stir that up. And we are gonna make these garlic rolls. Sprinkle on some garlic salt and some dried basil. Then we're gonna cook it at 3.30 for about nine minutes. And there's just a little bit of time left. Brush on some more butter and let it finish cooking. Check out those hot, luscious rolls. Mmm, that's like a four. Four! I say five all the way. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What? This one hurts my feelings. What I think I think I might have to retire from being a uh... taste tester extraordinaire. Yeah. Why? Cause they were cold. <sighs> Cause it's so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Ten out of ten. What else can I say, man? Just look at it. Yeah. Thanks, Mama. Did you know you could cook an entire dinner in your air fryer? Today I'm doing it with just five ingredients. It's my air fryer teriyaki chicken dinner. Cut your chicken thighs in bite-sized pieces and dice up some onions. Drop them in a bowl, then add about a cup of teriyaki sauce. Then we're gonna mix it up and let it rest. And while this marinades for about 20 minutes, we're gonna make some rice in the Instant Pot. Just add two and a half cups of water to two cups of rice, set it in the Instant Pot for seven minutes, and then I let it natural release for 10 minutes. Boom, there is your cooked rice. Now, you're gonna wanna use the grate or your basket, and then drop the onions and the chicken right in there. Spread this out, and the marinade is all at the bottom now. Don't worry, it's gonna make it magnificent. Then you're gonna air fry at 380 for eight to 10 minutes. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Place the chicken and onions in a bowl, cover it with foil to keep it warm. Then you've gotta leave all of the juices in this air fryer basket because we're gonna throw in some frozen broccoli. Cook it at 350 for eight to 10 minutes. Oh yeah. Then you get your rice, you throw on your chicken and your broccoli. It looks hot though. Broccoli, perfectly cooked. Chicken, whoa, that is weird. Try it. Weird, it's delicious. Uh, that's probably, I'd give it probably a 4.5 out of five, but if you had some sort of topping to that. You mean like, you want a sauce? Yeah, some sauce to that, it would be super, super okay. good. Okay, noted. Okay, it's a French toast roll up, but let's just call it a dessert. First, you need some bread, and we're gonna dry it out in the air fryer. Run it at 350 for two minutes. Cut off the crust. Then prep the dredge. Get some cinnamon and sugar in a shallow dish. Flatten out the bread with a glass or rolling pin. Now it's time for the Nutella. Spread a thin layer on your bread and roll it on up. Lightly spray some parchment paper, dip it in the egg, dip it in the cinnamon and sugar, and place it on the parchment paper. Lightly spray it with oil, then run it at 360 for five to six minutes. Shake that out. Give me a bite. Mm, I give it maybe a four. What? Four, four and a half, I don't know. Mmm. Did you know there's Nutella in that? Yeah. Guess I can't means. taste it. More Nutella next time. Ooh, yep. I give it five all the way. I don't love it, but I like it. Oh my word. Says the girl who drinks Nutella. I don't drink <laughs> it. <laughs> But I do love Nutella. If chicken wings don't sell you on the air fryer, I don't know what will. Dump some frozen chicken wings in your air fryer. Don't worry about overcrowding right now. We're just gonna thaw them out. Then cook them at 350 for 10 minutes. Now that they're thawed, rotate them around. Then just lightly season with some garlic salt and pepper. There's no real measurement. Just eyeball it or wing it. Then crank your air fryer up to 380 and you're gonna cook it for 25 minutes. Then when it's looking as beautiful as these, you're gonna add some homemade barbecue sauce. Then cook it at 400 for five more minutes. Mmm, so good. This is the copycat Taco Bell Crunch Wrap. We just need a burrito sized flour tortilla, a half pound of ground beef, here's the spices I need. Two tablespoons of just some plain breadcrumbs or panko, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, that's onion powder, same measurement, and then just a dash of pepper, half tablespoon of milk, and a half tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half pound of ground beef, which is about eight ounces. Here's my milk and Worcestershire sauce, and all of my seasonings, and I'm gonna and just mix this up and just make up your two little hamburger patties Put it up to 380 and we're gonna run it for about seven minutes I'm gonna turn my shake reminder shake reminder that looks really nice all right internal temp is hitting about 145 which is fine because we're gonna cook these a little bit more lay your hamburger right here in the center of the burrito then top it with some cheese and throw on whatever toppings you want okay now comes the slightly tricky part we're gonna just fold this up into like a pinwheel if and you can see a cute little crunch wrap I do want to just lightly spray this with oil and then you can just put that folded side right down there in the air fryer bring that up to 400 Fahrenheit five minutes and I do want to flip it so there's my shake reminder those got nice and toasty flip let's see how these look heck they look so good oh yum 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 Okay, tell me what you think, because I already know what I vote. Haley said we need to make this one. It's so good, it's out of the range. Mm. It's infinity out of five. So good. Mm -hmm. Did you know you can make hamburgers and fries at the exact same time in your air fryer? This is how we do it. I'm just gonna plop my hamburger patty down right here. I'm gonna throw some french fries on the other half, and then I'm gonna adjust that temperature to 380 degrees. 
And then I'm gonna go with that lower time on the hamburger patty. I'm gonna do 15 minutes, which will also work for the french fries. So 15 minutes at 380 for the fries and the hamburger. And boom, there we go. And then you've got perfect hamburger and fries. Whip these up in a snippity snap and your teenagers are gonna love you forever. This recipe calls for some sweet Hawaiian rolls and then just only like three quarters pound of lunch meat or even leftover like Easter ham. And then just eight slices of Swiss cheese or you could do provolone, I just had this on hand. And then for the glaze, you just need some butter, Dijon mustard, onion powder, salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce, some poppy seeds, and brown sugar. For these rolls, you're gonna just keep them all as one and carefully use a bread knife and just saw through those. It's gonna make everything just easier, I promise. You're just gonna go ahead and place those rolls right into your air fryer basket. Then take the top off and you're gonna place four slices of cheese right on top of the rolls and then get your deli ham and just spread that out on top of the cheese then place four more slices of cheese on top then put the tops back on and for that glaze melt your stick of butter throw in two tablespoons of brown sugar one tablespoon of Dijon mustard a tablespoon of poppy seeds a teaspoon of onion powder and two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce and a quarter teaspoon of salt and a dash of pepper and then just mix that up we're just gonna pour this right over these rolls and you want to just brush that through but don't be afraid to just dump all of that on here I tell you what it just makes it so good and I'm gonna bring that temp down to 330 and we'll run it for about 12 minutes okay now check this out oh yeah then you're just gonna want to cut those apart and how is it it's very good Mmm, that's yummy. You're about to stuff your face with these stuffed peppers. Start with some mini sweet peppers, cream cheese, and everything but the bagel seasoning. Wash your peppers and cut them in half lengthwise. And if you want to, cut out the seeds inside. Pat them dry and then fill the peppers with some cream cheese. Put some parchment paper in your basket if you want and set the peppers right inside the basket. Sprinkle with some seasoning, pop it in the air fryer, and cook it at 380 for about eight minutes. And check it out, these are done. Oh, I've gotta try one out. Mmm, mmm, so good. Bet you didn't know you could make steak fajitas in the air fryer. Here are the veggies I'm gonna use, and then it's time to slice your steak. Pat it dry, cut off the fat, and then just cut the steak against the grain into thin little slices. Just throw all the veggies and the steak right in the bag, and then I'm gonna make my marinade. Two tablespoons of lime juice, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of oil, and then for some spices, you'll need a half teaspoon of each. Ground cumin, some chili powder, a half teaspoon of oregano, and then a quarter quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Whisk that up, pop it right on top of your veggies and steak. Seal up the bag, mix it around, and then pop it in the fridge. We definitely want the air fryer preheated. Spread it out, and then we're gonna cook it at 360 degrees for 14 minutes. Here we go at the halfway point. Just stir it around, let it finish cooking. Oh yeah. This is so yummy. Holy moly, it's stromboli. Now this is like a nine by 15 square of dough, so I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm just using some Prego spaghetti sauce and layer up your meats. On this one, I'm gonna do pepperoni and salami and some provolone cheese, and then I'm just gonna do an egg wash here to help everything stick and then you just roll it up like a cinnamon roll and then pop it right in your sprayed air fryer basket then I just cut some vents and brushed it with a little egg wash and then I'm cooking it right in the air fryer at 340 for 10 minutes and here we go after 10 minutes I'm gonna give it three more minutes but at a lower temperature because I don't want the top to burn and check it out Look at this beautiful gooeyness. Test it out. Tell me what you think. Teenager mm -hmm. approved? So good. So good? Very good. Would you eat this for dinner? You're never gonna make enchiladas any other way after you see this. For these air fryer beef enchiladas, you just need some flour tortillas or any kind you like, some cooked up taco meat, cheese, enchilada sauce, and beans of your choice. So first I'm gonna preheat my air fryer. I'm just gonna plop my ground beef in there, throw some onions here in my meat, pop it in the air fryer, and we're gonna cook it at 380, and we'll start with about four minutes. Pop that out, just stir it around. I'm gonna throw some taco seasoning on. I'm gonna cook this for about another four minutes. 
and ta-da! I'm dumping it on a paper towel and let's just press this down. Start with the flour tortilla, spread out your beans, then get some taco meat and place it right on top of the beans. Then get some cheese. You could drizzle a little enchilada sauce inside. You're gonna roll it up this way and stick it right in there. Let's add a few more. Last little guy is gonna fit in there. Then just pour on a little more enchilada sauce and use a spoon to cover up all of the tortillas. Then finish with some cheese. Pop it in the air fryer, cook at 350, and we're gonna bring it all the way down to five minutes. Time is up and it is perfect. Top with some fresh tomatoes. So flavorful. Super easy weeknight meal. Say goodbye to boring breakfast with this breakfast fold over. You can make up these eggs the night before or the morning of. Cook it up in your frying pan, cut up some of your sausage strips, then get a flour tortilla and just cut it right there from the middle out to the edge, then place a portion of your eggs on one quarter, then some of the sausage on the next quarter, then a little pico or salsa and some cheese. Now you're gonna fold, fold again and one more time. Now it's ready for the air fryer. Give it a little spray and then you're gonna cook it at 370 for about five minutes. And whoop, there it is. Breakfast crunch wrap. You like that? You want more? Like it? I want more. Mmm. But I'll give it a four. Mmm, five for me. That's so good. Do we use the air fryer for dessert? Yes, we do. Check out these mini cheesecakes. For the crust, start with four and a half sheets of graham crackers and crush it up till it's nice and fine. Get three tablespoons of butter, melt it, drop in your graham crackers and one tablespoon of sugar. Mix it up. Add about a quarter cup of the crumble to a six ounce ramekin. Use a small cup to press the crust down. Pop these in the basket, pop it in the air fryer, air fry at 320 for six to eight minutes until lightly browned. You'll need four ounces of softened cream cheese, two tablespoons and two teaspoons of sugar, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Beat until smooth. Throw in one egg and mix some more. Then stir in zest from half a lemon until nice and smooth. The crust is nice and toasty brown. When the crusts have cooled, pour in your yummy cheesecake. Pop it in the air fryer, cook at 310 for 20 minutes. Cheesecakes are done. Carefully pull them out of your air fryer and let them cool completely. And once everything is cooled, add your topping onto your cheesecake. Oh, that looks beautiful. And it's time to enjoy. That's superb. <laughs> Still not sure about the air fryer? You've gotta watch this. And then here is my air fryer buying guide. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.